Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Frances Maxwell, and uh, I'm going to uh, very honored to be doing your presentation for you this evening, and it's going to be on a uh, great marketing site that we have that uh, I haven't taken advantage of and just have uh, not really taken the time to uh, look at it very much. And uh, I'm going to take about 20, 25 minutes of your time to share some of the basic information for beginners on this powerful social media site, which is LinkedIn. And uh, it's a free site. It's uh, much like Facebook, Twitter, and those different uh, social media sites. But it has an immense number of professional people. On LinkedIn, you're not going to see people posting on uh, you know, what they ate for supper or recipes, uh, what they ran up downtown to uh, buy at the grocery store, and that type of thing. It's a very professional site by business people that attend to business. So uh, there's a immense amount of professional people worldwide on this site. And one count that I saw was 225 million people. And I also saw the stat that about 50% of these people are in North America. And you know, like many out of you out there, as I mentioned, I've had this profile on LinkedIn for a number of years, and I've just not done anything with it. I've dinged around with it, you know, added some postings periodically and whatnot. And Joe has really encouraged me to get active on the site. And my thought was, you know, I really don't know what I'm doing, and but I decided I needed to change that. So I changed my mindset and my attitude as well, and I've learned a number of things that has benefited me with quality leads and the opportunity to share ideas with like-minded people worldwide. And I'd like to share some of the things that I have learned, and some of them are very basic, and I believe that's where we need to start, if your attitude was and is the same as mine was. LinkedIn is like all the things. Uh, like the other social media sites, it's ever-changing and evolving, so you're going to need to spend time on it and work with it on a regular basis just to keep it updated and current. I learned that LinkedIn is a huge internet database, and you will be able to connect with people from all over the world in all walks of life. And also, this site is about you. You are the product that you're going to be marketing. It's a site about people, not companies. And your purpose is to exchange with people who may want to invest in your company, be your business partner, or become your customer. And the information, the book that I've used has helped me in that it shares that LinkedIn is about developing relationships. And hey folks, what's our company about? It's about relationships. And it gives you the opportunity that's to see that others have an interest in what you're doing. And with this in mind, it's important to be real, authentic, and honest. The author reminded me that people buy and want to work with persons that they know, like, and trust. And hey, with LinkedIn, you're going to have plenty of opportunities to let people know what you know and how you feel about different subjects. They then can make up their minds if you're someone that they want to do business or work with. So the first thing we need to do is to get started. And we start by getting an account, by signing up. And you can go to www.linkedin.com, and you're going to need to add your name and an email address and a password. And ladies, I would highly recommend that if you're married, that you add your maiden name here as well. You know, just thinking about, you know, you may have gone to college or worked with someone who may want to look you up, and they don't know your married name. They know your maiden name. So this will give them a way that they can locate you and find you. So then after you put that information in, LinkedIn will send you an email and confirm that you uh, have a profile. And then you could start working on that profile. And your profile is very important. This is your home base. This is where everyone goes to check you out. So spend time working on this, and it's something you need to do constantly and keep touching it up and updating it. You know, like I mentioned before, LinkedIn is like the other social media sites are always evolving, changing, and improving. And uh, you want to have a 100% completeness on your profile. 
you know, there is a measuring tool on the right side of your profile page that monitors your completeness. Now, mine isn't a hundred percent, but it, but I'm going to work on it and and finish that. And right now, it's about 99, 98 percent. And the importance of your profile being a hundred percent is that you'll benefit in more searches for your expertise, and your rating will be higher. And that indicates that you're taking your business seriously, resulting in people who are researching you will also take you serious. And just a little reminder that this isn't going to be your resume. And here's some of the things that you can put on your profile. And the first being your picture. And make this picture a professional one. You know, you don't want to have one where you have your, your child, your dog, your horse, a cartoon, or anything like that. You want a professional one with a smile. And uh, people are going to be more receptive to someone who's smiling rather than looking serious and grumpy. And just look at the example that I have put at the bottom of the screen here. There's a gentleman there who uh, looks rather distraught, and then there's a professional looking man. Now, which one, honestly, would you uh, go to first to get information? If they had the same listing, you know, entrepreneur, businessman, blah, 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 uh, right, you would go to Jamie. You'd go to that good looking uh, young man sitting there that has a smile on his face. He looks professional. And he looks, his posture is saying that he's an expert and he's very capable in helping you and, and giving you benefit in any area that you may uh, need help in. Now, the other gentleman is very lacking. He looks confused. He may be very talented, but he certainly doesn't display that with his picture. And, uh, you know, I would choose Jamie every time. <laughs> so if you're serious about the quality of database of persons that you uh, need to look professional in your picture. You know, your business has to look the part. And no one's going to take you serious or treat your business serious if you don't uh, have a serious picture up. So next is your headline. And there's different segments in your headline. And uh, if you don't put something, oh, I'm sorry, I'm a little ahead of myself. Your headline, if you put something there by default, LinkedIn it will put just your job title. And so you make your headline a benefit headline, you list some of your skills, capitalize the first letter and separate them with a straight up and down line. And you do that by using your shift key and your forward slash key. And you can make any other changes later, update it, change it, do whatever you need to do it later on. And uh, you know, you can look at the other websites uh, on the on LinkedIn and get some ideas of some of the things that people have put on that would pertain to you as well. And you can also, in this area, list three websites. And in that listing, the last one is says other. And in that space, you can list a free report that you may have that would benefit the people that they would be interested in, or even Joe's popular manifesto on the paradigm shift. And if you list some of your websites, test them and make sure the links work. You know, I'm world famous for sometimes missing a letter or transposing a couple of letters. And, you know, your, your websites, those links aren't any good if they don't work. So be sure that they work. And you can list in that area your current email address, your Skype and Twitter addresses as well. And you're also going to receive a LinkedIn link or an address, and that at first, it looks very disorganized to you. It'll be you know, uh, LinkedIn and some numbers and maybe your name, part of your name in that. But as you continue to develop the site, you're going to be able to change it. You know, I was able to change mine to www.linkedin.com slash in slash Francis J. Maxwell. And you may be able to put your name in as well if it's available at the time that you do that. Now, you can use this URL to direct persons directly to your site. There are some people that use just their LinkedIn site to uh, market and prospect without using any other uh, website. So they just direct people right directly to their LinkedIn site. Activity is an area that will display your recent activity. Uh, you know, if you recently connected with someone or if you made a comment, you con congratulated any, all this information that you uh, uh, areas that you're active in, it will be in this activity area, which is good because then that sort of keeps you updated in, in the different areas that you've been making comments in that. Background. Um, 
we're going to talk about uh, background here is uh, the next section. And you can rearrange the segments in this section. There's a number of segments, as you see, them listed there by clicking on the up and down arrows. And I choose not to rearrange mine. And you can even remove some of the segments if you're, you don't think you're going to use them. But then later you change your mind, you can add them in. First part of it is your summary. And this is a very important part of your site. Uh, you, you will have 2,000 characters to share with people who you are and in what way they would benefit from their association with you or if they purchased from you or if they decided to be your business partner. Now, I do want to remind you that in today's world, we're all in a hurry. We're impatient. We want instant things to happen. And we're just an instant society. So make your summary concise and easy to scan. If it's too wordy, it will not get read by the majority of the people. And here you can share who you are, who you can, can and will help, who you, how you will help them, and then a call to action using many of your keywords. And, you know, I find this is one of the areas where I'm frequently updating, changing, and uh, updating, keeping it current. And <clears throat> if you have a call for action, I also included my phone number and email, email address for them in that area so they don't have to scan the whole site to get that information if they want to take action. Next segment is experience. And in this area, you can use to tell about what you're currently doing or have been doing in the past days, years. And uh, these don't have to be your 9 to 5 jobs. They can be if, they, uh, if there are positions and activities that you've been in that you experienced that were related to others in the work area. And you can add every place you've ever worked if it contributes to your professional career. This will make it easier for people to find you. You know, example, uh, one group of persons that I want to attract are nurses. So I list the past places that I've worked and my positions in these places. And you can and should include all of your volunteer positions because this shows persons that are looking at you that you support and you're active in your community. And when adding these, use as many of your keywords as possible, which enhances the search engines in finding you. Uh, you know, it's all about the search engines being able to find you just like it is on all of our sites and your highest rating. You're also offered the capabilities to add videos, images, documents, and presentations in this area. And if you've written any articles, written a book, etc., you can add them here. The title of each one of them can be hyperlinked and have a space to descri describe your publication. And there's another way to establish even more that you're an expert in this area and draw attention to your published articles, you may decide to add a special segment for this called publications. And this will also draw more attention to it and, and again, you know, enhance the uh, fact that you're an expert. You know, there's your book, there's your article, and uh, it'll make it impress people more that you are an author. Languages. This section gives you the capability to use different languages on your site. There are 40 languages available to you. Organizations. You're able to add the different organizations you're a part of or support. And this can be in different areas, you know, like example, uh, again, nurses organizations, network marketing organizations, uh, ones that are related to the type of people that you want to attract. Projects. This is another segment you can add or not. You know, I put webinars in this area, but I'm going to back in and change that to trainings. And I'm going to add some of my webinar trainings that add to my pro profile. You know, again, like wanting to attract retired people, nurses, uh, some women. So I'll probably add my Never Too Old to Dream trainings and also women leadership training in, uh, in that site. And again, if you have any of these types of things, a little short YouTube uh, on a training, you can add that to that area as well. Honors and awards. This is a place to add any awards and achievements, any achievement levels that you've attained with the company. Also, any awards that you may have received in your different experiences or jobs in the past that will add to your expert status and or the quality of person that you are. Then skills and expertise. You can have at least five skills, but there's room for more that you can list. And then even other people add to your skills by endorsing you for different skills. And there can be another area to share and confirm your expertise by your, your different skills. Education. 
of course, this is the area where you put your, where you graduated from school, college, different trainings you've taken, different special classes you've taken. And if you've taken any special courses that add to your expertise status, list them here as well. Then additional information. This is interests. This is the area I, again, was advised to use many of my keywords. I had originally set it up with things that were very generic, some of the things that I enjoy that had really nothing to do with network marketing or attracting nurses, and that was like gardening and reading and computer and church, that type of thing. So I changed that then to more things like wellness, health, income, retirement, self-development, some of the examples that I used. Then personal de details, you can list your birthday if you wish and your marital status. And advice in contacting you, uh, information, you know, you can add your email address, you can add a phone number if you wish, and also some websites. And recommendations. This is proof that you're as good as you say you are. It's great if you can get recommendations for every position that list giving you a wide variety of people. And this is called social proof. You know, we can tell people about ourselves, our accomplishments, and how good we are, how good we think we are, but no one's really going to believe it until someone else agrees. Persons giving recommendations add to your credibility and helps to validate us. You know, uh, my, one of my problems was it's been a number of years ago since I did some of my nursing jobs, and it, I'm no longer in contact with many of those people, so it's difficult for me to get recommendations from those people. But, you know, if you have some current job listings that, you know, say only four or five years and you still know the people, you know, go to them and ask for recommendations. And uh, if they're not on LinkedIn, show them how to sign up and let them give you some recommendations, and that gives you more credibility. You know, and one of the reasons for that is we know that there are so many experts in the world of Internet that people are getting very skeptical about what they read on the Internet, so they're looking for more proof. And some of us have experienced the persons who are trying to sell us their ultimate success program, but they themselves haven't built an ultimate success business. They make their monies just selling this success program without really doing the, uh, the work, doing the walk and having the experience. So this is one of the examples of why people are more skeptical about things that people say that they are and do. So when asking for or doing a recommendation, you have them use some of the keywords so that when other LinkedIn users search for a certain skill, you're going to be high on that list. Also, the number of recommendations you have will determine how high you'll show on the internet, I mean the LinkedIn search. And here you're also going to have an opportunity to give recommendations to others. You know, LinkedIn keeps track of all of these for you. And you can go to your first level connections, people that you know, and give them recommendations. There's a special form provided for that. And, uh, you know, I, I want to give you a word of uh, caution here on recommendations. You may receive some requests for recommendations from someone you do not know. And I highly recommend you, you don't do this, that you don't give them a recommendation. And why? If they're not who they say they are and you can't prove who they are and they don't, you know, they don't step up to the benchmark and they don't do as what they're going to say they're doing, then your reputation is on the line because you recommended them. And your credibility is going to be lessened due to that if you do that with very many people and they're not the quality of people that you thought they were. So another tip, you can also control what recommendations you want to show on your site. Connections. You may see recommendations to just add people connections that you know. And again, I find that limiting for business in network marketing. We're trained not to judge any of our prospects, and I feel that applies here as well. You know, when you look at some of the profiles, you really don't know who would be or not be a great prospect for your business or maybe a great customer. And I've gone through and invited many persons in the international market and the nurses and different people from different walks in life with the idea that I'm going to make contact with as many people as possible who will end up having an interest and uh, be wanting to look at my my business and my products. So as you start your list, you can also use your email accounts and go to the contact tab and there's a system already set up that will go through whatever email accounts you have and help you to invite contacts to join you. 
you've probably also noticed if you have if you've gotten on your website that <clears throat> there's connections the first second and third connections well this is very similar to our levels in our compensation plan example say that I invite Donna Jamie Patrick and Andreas to connect with me and they do they're going to be my first level connections then the persons that they have connected with would be my second level connections and their connections, second level connections, would be my third level connections. And you can connect with your second and third level contacts by asking the first level person to introduce you uh, to them. Now, if they happen to be the third level, you can ask uh, the first level to contact the second level to give you an introduction as well. But you can still communicate with all the second and third level contacts by email on their sites. You also can send I invites to fellow persons in any group you're involved in and there's always a chance that they will report you as a spammer which is bad because LinkedIn will then put limitations on you but you're going to also have other people inviting you to join them so you can add more contacts that way as as well and the magic number of connections that you want or contacts that you want to show on your site is 500 any number below that is displayed on your profile and it's felt that with less than 500 some people may think that you're not well connected and when you hit the 500 mark it is displayed as 500 plus and LinkedIn stops counting your profile numbers 500 plus could be 501 or any number of connections over 500 LinkedIn gives you 3,000 invites and limits you to 30,000 first level connections you can also get more invites allotted to you when you have used all of your 3,000 by contacting customer service and request more. But I want you to think about how powerful this is. If you have 30,000 first level connections, then you have all of their second level connections and then all those third level connections, just imagine how many people you're going to be in contact with. That you're going to be able to make contact, share your business, and develop relationships with you know that's powerful but there's even more ways that you can add more people to that contact list and that's with groups you can join at least 50 groups and groups are great for building your brand in groups you can answer questions you can add remarks to a discussion item you can post articles of interest and the more you interact the more you're established as an expert and it's a great way to be found on LinkedIn when you make a comment in the discussion, you just click on the headline uh, that you're interested in adding your comment in the space below. And when other persons see what you write, they can click they like it or they can click on your picture and read your profile and co contact you for further interactions with you. And you can message people directly even if you're not on their first level. And you can even do a private message to them if you want to give them information, say, about your business opportunity. And again, you know, you be careful when you're doing this because, again, we want to develop relationships like we do, you know, on regular business uh, opportunities. That we don't want to just, you know, unload on them the first time that we chat with them because that's a real turnoff. So you want to, you know, work on developing the relationship and if they show an interest, then you share your business with them. And you can type in a word and look for groups that you uh, want to join that shares your interests. You know, again, I recently chose nurses, health and wellness, and networkers. I chose groups that had over a thousand members. And again, just remain, imagine how many people you're going to be in contact with when those 50 groups of a thousand people, that's 50,000 persons. And in those groups, there are many persons, as well as your first and second and third uh, connections, that are very unhappy with their jobs, professions, and income. And they're looking for other alternative uh, methods to change their life. So if you want to change the groups also that you're in, this is easy to do. You just click on leave the group option, and that's it. You're gone. And nobody gets offended that you left the group. Most of the time, they don't even know you left. And you can also create groups, so you'd see that the possibilities are unlimited with LinkedIn. And, uh, you know, the results that I have gotten, I've been only doing this for about two weeks really intensely. And before I started it, 
the people that searched me were only about 10 to 15, and the views were only 3 to 4. Well, the amounts that I have appeared, appeared in searches this morning when I checked it was 668, with 172 people viewing me. And this morning I had 1,792 connections. When I started, I only had about 600. And I have made multiple comments on postings and talked to several people, already started developing relationships. And this is only like in two weeks' time that I have done this. And I haven't really got down deep into the program. This is just the things that I have shared with you that I have done. And this is results that I've already received. So as I mentioned, this tool is a great deal of potential in helping you to build a database. And it does take some time and on a regular basis. But you know, as you can see, the results that I have, it is well worth you, know, you spending an hour or two every day until you get it well established and set up so you can spend less time later. And I know some of you have advanced past experience with the uh, past the basic level that you're much more involved in the uh, LinkedIn process. And you have many tips that you can share as well. And just feel free to email any of them to me. And I want to share with you that I've learned a great deal about LinkedIn and have a great deal more to learn. And I'm striving each day to learn and implement another new thing. And I certainly hope that you have benefited from this presentation and you'll be taking advantage of this free, powerful tool as well and get started on building your database. And you know, I've even learned more things while I was preparing this presentation for you. So thank you for letting me do this. And for now, this is Francis Maxwell signing off. Thank you and good night.